Today, I'll show you how to do your Bitcoin crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another uh, wallet, another coin integration video. Today, we're talking about Bitcoin specifically. Um, obviously, you know, I don't need to tell you about Bitcoin. It's the number one crypto on the planet. And this will really depend on where you are getting or where you are storing your Bitcoin. So we'll talk about a few different options and how to import your Bitcoin data. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So first step, as always, log into your Coinly account. And if you don't have one, no worries, you can make one completely free. And now this is where it gets interesting. So depending on what you're using, um, your Bitcoin information might come along with that, you know, with those CSV files or with that API. So, you know, if you're using, let's say Coinbase, then you're typing in the Coinbase API, which I've made videos on, then your Bitcoin data will be imported. Or alternatively, if you have a CSV file that has all your deposits, withdrawals, trade and stuff like that, your Bitcoin information will also be um, in there, so you don't have to worry about it. But hypothetically, if you were you know, just wanting to import your Bitcoin data from a certain wallet, how would you do it? Well, the first step would be to go into Add Wallet, and for today's example, I'm gonna use the Atomic Wallet, which I've also made videos on. So you can do one of two things. You can type in Atomic Wallet, um, click on it, and then click Set Up Auto Sync, and here I'll specifically tell you for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, Dash, Litecoin, etc. You need to find the XPUB, YPUB, and ZPUB keys, which are usually located in the settings area. So um, just to show you what that would look like. So you would go into your Atomic Wallet. You would head over into the settings area. My camera is a little bit in the way, no worries. Um, so in the settings area, you would go into private keys. Here you would enter your password. Um, and then you would find your public key right here. So copy. Uh, this, obviously not with the public key, just copy, okay, well, I'm just gonna copy it, go here, click connect um, exchange, and then we're gonna go and click on Bitcoin, and then here we type in that public key, obviously do not need to include the word public key, so there it is, and you click import. Now, if you didn't wanna do it that way, you don't need, you actually, you don't have to go through the atomic wallet route, you could have just typed in Bitcoin, and it would have taken you straight to that step, um, I guess either way is fine. The main takeaway is find that XPUB key um, somewhere in your settings depending on which wallet you're using. And I've made a countless different videos. Obviously you can browse through the channel and see uh, if there's a video for your wallet. Most likely there will be. Copy and paste that XPUB into here and then click import and there you have it. That's how you import your data. So like I said, depending on which wallet you're using or if you just have like, let's say the XPUB keys for your Bitcoin, that is how you would enter that data into Coinly. So once it's fully entered, you can head over to the transactions area and you can get a summary of your crypto activity. Make sure everything is tagged correctly. If you're doing any kind of staking, make sure you have sent to pool and sent from pool tagged in these transactions. And once you're happy with the ad area, you can head on down into tax reports. And here you get a fantastic summary of all your activity throughout the year. So your capital gains, your costs and expenses, anything else you kind of need to know to see where your crypto taxes are going to end up. And once you're happy with everything you see here, scroll down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And as you can see on the screen before you, we have plenty of different tax reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, and other countries, we have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant, and they can combine it with your other tax documentation. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, what I tell everyone is make sure to check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report, this plan might be deductible. But that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, I'm gonna leave a bunch of different resources down below. Firstly, we have the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a forum section where we talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our API um, or our software, sorry. And then lastly, we have a contact section if you wanna send us a message directly, we'd love to help you out. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.